it's a very difficult thing to like your whole life changes and you can't dance. So and dancing is your life, you know? My friend and I hit head to head and we both broke our noses. And they didn't do much for the broken nose because they didn't see it as much of a problem at the time, but over time and with another break in the middle of then and now, it's gotten a lot worse. It does bleed quite often. So that's been something very difficult for me. And since I can't breathe, I can't dance. So just got back from x-rays. It's broken. Um, they're gonna try and close this hole. Uh, I'll see if I can go live. I'll tell you guys when I can so I can explain what happened. Hey guys, it's Charlie. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I don't think I'm going to be able to be live today um, at the hospital. I think I broke my nose, so wish me luck. Hello you guys, it's Charlie and this is step, we're restarting on my whole nose problems because I have changed doctors. So today I'm going to my consultation, I guess is what you call it, to see if they can finally fix my nose. We have masks and everything, so it's very exciting. I need to make sure this time it's in focus. I call shotgun. Okay, mom. Shotgun people go first. Okay, we got the whole fam in the car. All right, guys. So today is part one of. Hey, Dad, you want to put your seatbelt? Hello, you guys. Today is part one. <laughs> ah. Hello, you guys. Today is part one of the nose saga for the D'Amelio sisters. Today we are going to our first appointment with the doctor to see if we can get our noses breathable okay so right now we are walking to the office of the doctor we got lost we're making our way they just asked dixie if she wanted cosmetic surgery as well <laughs> but we just got the pictures taken of our noses and we're waiting for Don't throw mommy and I in of this. our noses, nose and we're waiting for the doctor. Oh my god! Look at it from the side. It looks so good. <laughs> Why is Dixie always crying about something? I know. I feel like you guys always think I'm the crybaby, but she's always crying. Um. Yeah. So we're waiting for the doctor. Stop crying. So you have to do it halfway. Okay, so we just finished our consultation and he basically said that I have a lot of problems and my nose is still broken and so is the septum's all messed up. I realized I have a lot more problems than I thought I did. So it's super cool. Hi guys, it's Charlie and mom. And we are about to go to the um, pre-op for, for that. <laughs> Super exciting. We've got dad here too. They're yes. bringing me because DMVs are closed and I still can't get my permit. My lashes are wonky right now. I think I'm getting them fixed tomorrow. Super exciting, can't wait. Okay. Oh my, they look so bad right now. Okay. Pimple. Okay, we're here. Apparently I have to do blood work. Spooky. I'm kinda scared. Twenty percent better in one day. In one day. Not even a full day. Yay! Alright, so we just finished this doctor's appointment and I go back tomorrow morning. Again. Okay, so right now we are on our way back to the doctor. It's early and I can't have coffee until I'm all healed. So I'm struggling, but I'm, I'm doing my best. It's just hard. I'm so tired. If this I is like give it to hard. You, I would. This no. is hard to do. Yeah, this is this is difficult. What, do you have a headache? or what do you No, feel like? it's just like... You're tired? Dragging? Yeah, like this was how I felt like when I was in school and I didn't have coffee and I like had to sit through a lecture Like that was it was like my eyes oh. get like heavy 
I have been thinking, you know the same thing, hyaluronic acid we inject in the lips that helps plump the tissue. So I want to put uh, two drops of the hyaluronic acid to bulk up the lining. Lining is what's eroded, you know. So it, let's say it should be the lining typically is 10 pages thick. Mm -hmm. Yours is literally one page. Nine pages are missing. So I want to bulk it up a little bit. It shouldn't be, if at all, you're going to feel that. Okay? You can handle that. So let's just put a couple of drops in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm numbing it. So I put some numbing cream in there. And I'm numbing it. So let me have a little bit of Juvenum Ultra. Alternate 30. How is it? Good. Bad? No. no? Okay. You don't even feel it? Or feel it a little bit? A little bit. Okay, so I just got out of the doctor and he put filler in my nose like right next to where the cartilage wall is supposed to be but since i don't have that the lining the lining he put filler there so it can help rebuild it and so we can do the surgery so it's numb right now but since it didn't hurt i am feeling a little bit better about the surgery i mean i know he's going to do amazing but i myself am terrified of surgery of any kind so that's scary but I feel better about it because this doesn't hurt at all and he put a needle inside of my nose so I'm so proud not super fun I didn't even cry good morning everyone right now it is 9 40 and we are on our way back to the nose doctor so he put the filler in my nose two days ago and I have not been able to breathe out of my nose since but that wasn't to help my breathing, so I guess we're gonna see what he says today and then go on to the next step and hopefully surgery will be in three days. You see right there? Mm-hmm. It's still a little raw. Mm-hmm. And that's where you see the septum is broken. Uh, you see, instead of being straight, it has mm -hmm. goes there and comes back like it creates a V. And that's what we need to fix, that's why. Like I'm pulling, 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 and look how she's blocked. You know, mm -hmm. she's got there. Oh, wow. Look at, look at how small slip. That's mm -hmm. all she has. So all that septum, which is broken to the right, we have to push it. But again, see, this is a very good view of, for your camera to see mm -hmm. how broken it is. Hey guys, it's Charlie, and I'm about to get my blood work done so I can get my nose surgery. The doctor's almost here. Shh. Keep it in that direction. Try not to pull, and I'll tell you when to take a deep breath and then just blow out, okay? It's okay. And everybody's got a lot of support, so you'll be just fine. No, my hand. Because you were squeezing. Oh, your hand. The other hand is numb, too? Yeah. <laughs> You're almost done. You're very light. Oh, no worries. You guys, give her some orange juice. Who's got orange juice or something? Put your finger there. Firm pressure. Got it? Okay. All right, so. We're gonna put this away. Just breathe. And then do me Just a favor breathe. and breathe okay. this. Take a deep breath. Blow out slow. Take another deep breath. Look at me. You see me? Okay, sip your juice. It's okay. Sip your juice. Okay, sip your juice. Can I sit on the floor, please? Um, lay down. You can lay down. You were holding your breath. Lay, lay right there. Lay, lay right there. Head back and then just relax. While well, I put your label on it too. And then just have her smell the alcohol. She just needs to breathe. Open your eyes. Kate. Kate. I don't think I should be recording anymore. What? She passed out. Okay. So right now we are going back to the doctor. I got my blood work today. Right there. And passed out. And passed out a little bit. So I guess we'll see how today goes. <laughs> but forget the nose, just give me some Q tips, back of the Q tip. 
Okay, so right now we are back at the doctor. He is going to take that out of my nose. So hopefully after that things will things will feel better. Oh wow. Lot better. You know, that like wow. sand paper look. Okay, so I just got out of the hyperbaric chamber and it was not that bad um, at all really. I didn't mind it and I think I'm going again after the surgery just to make sure that everything's healing properly and he said that my nose looks a lot better so we should be able to do the surgery in a week okay so now I'm about to go back to the doctor so we can do the same thing that we've been doing in a toilet to get everything from there so we are back at the doctor as per usual. Okay, so we are leaving right now to go back to the doctor so he can check up on my nose and basically just make sure that everything is good to go and in line for the surgery, hopefully Wednesday. So I guess right now just hoping for the best and hoping that everything will work out. So, look at this beautiful face, and due to the injury, she had this bump because the two bones widened, and you can see the width of the bone right there, and it hurts where the bones were splayed out. It hurts, and this bump also hurts. So it's not cosmetic as such, it's mostly to fix and bring the anatomy back to its original shape so the two bones will be narrowed this bump will be filed and the most important thing is the septum is twisted to the right and then left we need to fix the septum so she can breathe better and she can dance better and she can sing better because breathing is so important most of the septum is missing the cartilage is missing because of the trauma i think and all the way in the back fortunately i was able to find this piece of septal cartilage which was obstructing her airway and i'm going to carve that and create spedograft to open up her valves so this is going to be carved in and this spedograft is going to be put into the tube valve areas to open it up so you can see how curved this is and this is the only piece of cartilage i could obtain from the back all the way at the back of the cartilage in septum so i have a feeling that the injury she had is what must have created some sort of a septal hematoma and that just ate up most of the cartilage. So this is the spedograph which is going to go into the nasal valve area to open it up. Wow, this is the broken piece of bone which had telescope from two bones. And now that this bone has been removed from here, this is where it was sitting. It was sitting right there. And that was the bump. And uh, after I've removed this piece of bone, I will just smoothen the bone by using, it's like a nail file, and it's just going to smoothen it. So, 
It goes inside the nostril and it just moves into all the rough edges. Wow, that is beautiful profile. Restored back to its normal anatomy. That little bump due to the fracture, it's gone. So now it's restored back to its normal anatomy. Oh, Charlie, I'm so happy. That's what it did. Got all, got all your medicine. <laughs> Look at that smile. Oh my god, I love that smile. So I'm gonna ice you again, okay? Okay. Okay, so yeah, we do. And if you guys want, you can get yourself a chair, just have a seat on each side, just kind of and we'll show you how to do this. Okay. We're right here, babe.